let's tackle this problem. We have a solution made by dissolving 0.1 moles of sodium chloride in 8.6 moles of water. Let's find the mole fraction and the mass percent of sodium chloride in this solution. So from the way this is worded, we are treating sodium chloride as the solute, and we are treating water as the solvent, and so we have to add these two things together to get the whole solution. So NaCl plus H2O will give us the whole solution. Um, I'm going to do some pre-calculation before we jump into applying our formulas. I'd like to convert the moles to grams. If we have 0.1 moles of salt, and we're going to convert that to grams. For every one mole of salt, we have 58.44 grams. And so if we take 0.1 times 58.44, we have 5.844 grams of salt. And for water, we have 8.60 moles. And for every one mole of water, we have 18.02 grams. That's just taking 16 for oxygen and 1.01 for each hydrogen, and there are two of them. That gives a total of 18.02. So if I multiply 18.02 times 8.6, I get 154.9 0.97 grams of water. All right, to find the mole fraction, the mole fraction of salt will be given by the moles of salt, which are 0.1, divided by the total moles. Well, we have 0.1 moles from the salt plus 8.6 moles from the water. I'm going to run that denominator through my calculator first, which is going to give me an 8.7 down there in the bottom. So I'm going to have 0.1 divided by 8.7, and that's going to give me a value, oh, sorry, this is getting really sloppy. This gives me a value of 0 0.0. .0 one one four nine if I round that off to three significant figures that would be this place so that will be point zero one one five for the mole fraction of salt for the percent of salt we're going to take the mass of salt which is five point eight four four grams and we're going to divide it by the total mass, which is 5.844 plus 154.97. And then we have to multiply all of that times 100. I'm going to go ahead and pre-calculate that denominator to make sure my calculator is following the order of operations. Let's see. 5.844 plus 154.97, that gives me 160.814, and so, whoops, and then that's all times 100. And so if I divide 5.8, Oops, sorry, hit the wrong thing in my calculator. If I divide 5.844 by 160.814 times 100, I get 3.63%. So those are our two answers, 3.63 mass percent or 0 0.0115 for the mole fraction. The density of a solution may be specified in some later problems that we work that involve converting from one concentration unit to another. The thing I want to point out about the density is that it's the mass of the whole solution 
divided by the volume of the whole solution. Uh, when we start getting into mixing molarity and molality and mole fraction and all of that, it's really important that you always keep in mind, are we talking the solute, the solvent, or the entire solution? And the most common mistake that people will make with density is forgetting that it is the mass of the whole solution and the volume of the whole solution. So just keep that in mind when we get to those problems.